So my name is David Longworth. I was born in the UK. Um, I'm from a place called West Yorkshire. Um, Yorkshire is very famous for people who drink lots of tea, um, people who play cricket and rugby, and people who are generally quite humble, um, quite generally hardworking um, and, and very honest. Um, fondest memory as a child, spending time with my grandfather. Um, he would take me to the, to the local market every Saturday and I would wear something called a flat cap. You might have seen it in, in Peaky Blinders or, or something like that. And I would wear the flat cap and he would take me shopping and, and my treat would always be um, a bag of fresh cherries every Saturday morning. So that's, that's my fondest memory. Moving to the British schools was a bit of a no-brainer. Um, I've been lucky enough to, to teach and to, to work in leadership in different schools around the world. Um, I've worked in the Middle East, East Africa, um, in South Asia, and I, I now find myself in Latin America. I think coming to the British schools, having visited the school in October, um, it, made, it made complete sense. Um, the, the, the amount of staff buying, the, the sense of community here, I felt like it all kind of equated to a successful school, so I'm, I'm very excited about the opportunity to come and work at the British schools. I think like as, as a leader, there's, there's often the, the kind of want to come in and make a change and make an impact. I really don't see that as my role here. I want to, first of all, build, connect, uh, build connections, um, build relationships, get to know people. I hope that I'm starting to do that already, and I, I'm really looking forward to, to meeting all of the staff and to working with the parents and the students. Um, and that, for me, would be my first goal, to, to establish myself and, and build strong relationships. To listen, to, 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 to genuinely listen, and I think listening is a skill that sometimes gets forgotten about. I think as, as young people, as students, we, we teach children to be, to be strong and to be independent and to be good communicators, which are all important. Um, to share how you feel, again, super important. But if nobody's listening to you or you're not listening to them, then it's, it's really going nowhere. Um, I believe in the saying that we have two ears, two eyes and one mouth, and we should use those appropriately. So listening with our two ears um, is one of the biggest skills that I've learned. I think it's, it's difficult because um, education is a, a constantly evolving area um, and education is relevant to everybody. It's not like certain jobs or certain kind of trades where you speak to someone and it's very niche to their, to their understanding. Education is something that everybody is a part of and something that everybody has been a part of. So it's, it's relevant. Um, I think the biggest challenge in education is to build skills. Um, to build communication skills, to build listening skills, to build collaboration skills um, because we need students leaving the British schools with those skills in their pocket ready for whatever the, the industry is that they step into. That's all. Thank you, David. You're welcome.